Hello, this is Eric. This is Matthew. And uh, welcome to 21st Century Arcade. It's good to be here with you again, folks, and boy are we in for the spookiest night. Uh, spookiest we're gonna have to reset month. now. Why? Because it's not gonna play the background music after the demo. You're right. Let's try it. If not, we'll do a reset, but uh, we're still recording. We are still recording. And you'll never know what game we're playing today. I mean, if you're like really young, you actually might not know. <laughs> Okay, we're good. So the luscious tones of Vampire Killer. Oh God! All right, one of the few tunes that I remember intimately well from my childhood, even though I couldn't for the life of me beat the first level of this game when I was nine years old. When you were but a wee lad. Now, Eric. Yes. This is my probably my favorite NES game. Um. Hmm. I would say it's by far one of the best. It doesn't have as much nostalgia value to me as a couple of other ones. Okay, gotcha. But I would not dispute it's... If, like, I got into Castlevania only a few years ago. Okay, yeah. And, like, experienced the series proper with, like, every ins installment and... Um, So, it, it, th that being said, it's a it's a not one that you basically follow with each game basically. So so you didn't keep up with like uh, Lords of Shadow or two or anything. Well, like, not like, not those ones, no. But like the classic side scroller ones. Yeah, pretty much um, all of them except for a handful. Gotcha. Um, but so that being said, even with all the Metroidvania stuff and. Um, Rondo of Blood and games like that. This is still one that I enjoy very much. It's like, even for its 8-bit aesthetics and... Yeah, just the atmosphere of it. It's something special. Absolutely. Now, the pork shop is available there, and if you are uh, an OG super god at uh, Castlevania, there is a trick here where you can knock yourself onto that platform. You're not going to go for it, though, now, are you? By hitting a bat. I'm not going to go for it because I'll probably kill myself before I actually pull that off. You know, there might be some people who haven't even played this game, so I think they should see the merman section. They probably because should. this section is another one, like... Like, if you play through the series, that co that opening scene and then going into the castle and then down into this basement area, um, this section has been redone in, like, so many other Castlevania games where you yep. revisit the castle and replay this basic portion. It's mm -hmm. so it's so iconic. Yeah. The, the uh, entranceway... Oh, jeez. The entranceway straight into... Um straight into the uh, basement, the uh, water. Yeah, and but even like this midsection there, like that th that part is even in, in like, um, yeah. Symphony of the Night, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This has been replicated quite a few times, you're right. And same with the music, it's been used in so many other Castlevania games that uh, it's, it doesn't get much more iconic than this for, for a franchise. Oh yeah. Uh, Vampire Killer is one of the most uh, remix tracks that I can think of in any game. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a killer track. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> now, um, yeah. Um, I This one was essentially one that I challenged myself with. I uh, turned to Eric and I was like, "Hey, I bet that I can. I bet. Well, I bet that I can beat uh, Castlevania. I, I bet that I can beat uh, uh, Castlevania one. And uh, furthermore, I want to because I love this game. Uh, the giant bat here, giant bat fight could be going a bit smoother, but this will still be wrapped up very shortly. I, I uh, love this game, and it is October." As of this recording, it is time for us to celebrate the spooky spirit mm -hmm. and enjoy some nice horror-themed stuff. Oh yeah. You know, I have this, I mean, it's not like a technical opinion, it's more like a cheeky theory Okay. that this game may be the first survival horror game because 
It's horror themed. Right. And every encounter in it, you have to make it count. You can't just like I mean if you you know, if you get really good you can probably speed run it, but like your first time around, if you if you approach ev like the enemies kind of haphazardly, you're gonna get your ass handed to you. Yeah. If so, you act carelessly in uh, this game, then yes. Yeah. And, and and it's the same thing with classic survival horror like Resident Evil, where you know you can't just shoot everything on sight. You have to kind of approach every enemy with some level of strategy. Yeah. No one to conserve your uh, resources. Mm -hmm. No one to take them out. Exactly. So in in that. Strictly by that definition, I would say this game could pretty much be called a survival horror game. It's a bit of a stretch, but I understand where you're coming from here. Like I said, not mechanically, just yeah, just um, philosophically, you know, even. You could uh, say. I uh, totally get where you're coming from. Yeah. One, one, uh, uh, one hundred percent. Now, these Medusa heads right now are not a big deal because we are dealing with them in a controlled <laughs> environment. Without collapsing platforms or holes in them? Oh, worse than that, my friend. The uh, hallway leading up to death is probably the most difficult part of this whole game. Yeah. And I'm going to show I, you I, why. I vaguely remember it. Yeah. This game, I actually played this game, so this is the first game we're playing where it's not like one of us is a virgin to it. Right, yes. You have some experience with Castlevania. Mm -hmm. But um, not like like a me first. Not like, oh, I can confidently say that I have a good chance of beating it right. just on a, any given try. Yeah. Mm. No, I'm uh, pretty sure that I'm going to take this. Game. No, I, I don't doubt you. Um, you know, as long as... Um, you focus where you have to focus. Yes. Ugh. That's, yes, actually. That's, that's the bane of my existence with this game, is that, like, I'll be walking around with something, and then I'll accidentally end up with a knife just because I forgot that it was there. Yeah. No, I uh, just remembered, yes, I, I actually do want the uh, stopwatch right now. Okay. And I had all but forgotten why, and you're about to see why. Okay. I have full health. I didn't even need that. There you go. Hmm. The stopwatch is, is extremely handy for this segment because it'll just stop these. Oh, right. Straight, yeah. Straight, uh, straight up. Now, it, is it really... Can, can you really call it an NES game if it doesn't have, like, spike platforms going up and down? Not really. Not like, so much. Even Double Dragon 2 has it, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know what it is, but, but at the same time, it's like such a charming thing it's like oh yeah nothing warms my heart like spike spiked uh, death yes exactly now we are coming up to boss number two she's not much of a challenge uh these bosses aren't really going to be uh much of a challenge uh, up until death where the difficulty spike is immediate and massive uh, leading up to that, the only one that'll give me a bit of trouble is the two uh, mummies, because the fight against them and also the fight against the Flea Man and uh, Frankenstein's monster is a bit of a DPS race. Now, but, remind, remind me, please, um, in this game, um, all things considered, no worries. Points? Uh, you, you can you can earn lives with points, right? Yes, you can. Okay. So let's let's accumulate those. <laughs> oh yes, sir. Like we just did. That uh, audio cue was getting a AO life. <laughs> Me saying that was the cue. Yeah. Good timing. I uh, took more hits from the bat than Miss Medusa here, actually. Well, you know, I guess it wasn't the strongest start right off the bat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, Eric. Ooh, wicked child? I think I cannot recall it to be honest. Now these flea men are one of the most notorious enemies of this game. If you mm -hmm. let too many of them accumulate on the ground, then they're gonna ruin your day. But if you hit them as soon as they land, then they're no threat. In fact, this guy is more of a threat, Mr. Boneman. Why doesn't he run out of bones? Why should, he should just be falling apart. 
<laughs> well, I, how many bones do we have? Like 200 something? Oh, like a lot of bones. Also, I stole that joke off of the 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 uh, ABGN. Mm. Maybe he has like really big toes, and he's throwing toe bones at you to start with. Yeah. He's just very well endowed and he had big feet. <laughs> Every okay, almost every track in this game, just a banger, dude. Absolutely. So much energy. Yep. Please excuse the silence, folks. We are having a little bit of pizza on the side of this. Pizza uh, and beer. What are we drinking today? We are drinking some Swabby Bastard. Cheeky Bastard. Cheeky. Suave Bastard. Cheeky Bastard. Cheeky Bastard. Yeah, I I just wanted to buy something I've never tried before, and I saw it, and I said, Cheeky Bastard. <laughs> Matt's, Matt's, a, Matt's kind of a Cheeky Bastard. I'm a Cheeky Bastard. Ooh, you in those backward jumps. Right? You Cheeky Bastard. I got a style on these Medusa heads before they blow me up in the second last level. Mm. I shouldn't have grabbed that. Now he zooms off screen. Bye. I see. Forever? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, now that I have this stopwatch, I, I guess I'm just gonna use it for what I can. Oh, right, I'm invincible now. Mm -hmm. This is one of those classic games where when you die in, in uh, Castlevania, it's rarely because you ran out of life, it's probably because you got knocked off a ledge. Yeah, that's that's absolutely true. I was like, I was playing through it once and I was like, uh, I don't know, I was feeling pretty good about myself. I was like, okay, I, I really figured out the enemy patterns now, so yeah. I can avoid them and like not get hit by the enemies. And then platforming sections came along and yeah, I died. All of the mechanics you've been introduced to up now, all the, all the understanding uh, of enemies now. Look at that castle in the background. Now mix it in with a platforming. Yes, this is an extremely nice touch. The uh, uh, that final room. So what I'm standing under right now is, is the last part of the castle, but this part here, this uh, small room, that's it, where Dracula is. That's where Dracula is. It's a really nice touch. Yeah, not many NES games did that kind nope. of stuff. But I love seeing like other levels you would visit in the background of previous levels. Yes! Um, and, like, it, it's easier to do with 3D graphics because, um, you know, you, you... You know, you have a bigger sense of location and you can render stuff out. But in 2D games, like, you can just forget to include stuff like that. And just get yourself over to one side or the other and then just DPS race these motherfuckers. <laughs> Just get stepped on. They're gonna be crying for their mummy. No. <laughs> Eric, I appreciate your fantastic witticisms. <laughs> I, I hope you're not the only one who appreciates them. Oh no. All six of our fans are deeply in I love. I mean, with that's the thing, guys. If if tell your friends if, about if, us. If you're checking this thing out for the first time, and you don't like puns, then I'm sorry, but this channel is not for you. Leave. Unless you're a fan of The Office and you like cringe humor, <laughs> then you can just cringe at how bad our puns are. I almost got fucking blown up there. No! No! That'll happen every once in a blue moon. Stop it! Aww. Okay, no, this is actually okay, bad. Now. Focus. Yeah, 100%. As soon as that frustration sets in, you gotta just take a deep breath. Dial it back. Don't get too crazy. This party's getting crazy. Actually, for this segment, that uh, stopwatch is actually a pretty good idea. And yet, you lost it. And yet, I lost it. Time to go. Yeah, that classic um, NES hard uh, notoriety starts to kick 
kick in a little bit here in the uh, sewer segment. But not too bad yet. I'll take holy water, why not? Oh, uh, look at those uh, stalactites. Surprised none of them fall on you. In a game like this, you would. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Bah. You would think that they would. I'm not too worried about taking a hit from a bat. That's not. That's not what's going to kill me. I think that one always spawns a uh, stopwatch. All right, let's go get this bread. Oh, yeah, the the. I don't think there are any random um, loot stuff in this game. I think it's all pre-programmed. I, sh I should know that. Unless it's a weapon that you already have, then it ends up being a big heart. Mm. Is the rule of thumb in Castlevania from what I've seen. Yeah. Oh. Now to just not die. It's ironic that... Um, these somewhat frustrating mechanics are... How did that happen again? <laughs> you fell off harder than 50 cent. <laughs> and I'm not even upset. Okay, we've got a... Okay, it's a very strange to me too that uh, this is coming up now because I've never had, had a problem with that jump in the past. Are there continues in this game? There are, don't worry. Oh, okay. And I'm going to need them. Yeah, evidently. It's funny because you wouldn't have been saying that uh, 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 five minutes ago. But then yeah. Blowing up by. So you can't stand on the skull, right? You cannot. No, you cannot. That is so. It's off putting. It's so, yeah, counterintuitive. Yeah. Uh, the uh, first time that I played this game, I thought that I could, and I just tried to. Hey, I'll jump onto this skull. Oh, dead. Instant death. Oh, what happened there? I got stun locked into the wall. Yeah, but you d it didn't bounce you back. Because of these, because of the uh, stalactites. Amazing. Yeah. It's um, pretty astonishing. No, this... no chicken legs here. There should be. I'm probably missing one. Here's the part where you uh, gotta know how to deal with the flea men. Fortunately, I do, so it's not gonna be that bad. Here's the second they touch ground, hit them, whip them. <laughs> because if you let these guys yeah. jump about, you are done. Yeah. Focus. 100%. Um, I'm like holding my breath here, folks. Oh, no. Hey, I got Ooh, a life. Yay. I needed that. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh, this fucker. I'm getcha. I'm getcha. I think he starts to respawn. No? Okay. Fuck it. Yes, he does. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Got it. That could have went much worse. <laughs> I think I get a pork chop leading up to the boss here. I think I should be fine. Do I want this? I can't even. I know. I don't. Oh, the Frankenstein? Is sure. it? Yeah, yeah. Don't do Frankenstein. Oh, sorry. Frankenstein's monster for everybody in the comments. Oh. Um. See, I always call him Frankenstein because the way I see it is. If Dr. Dr. Frankenstein created him, right? Yeah. So then in a way, he's kind of like Dr. Frankenstein's child. Dr. Frankenstein's little boy. Which would make him a Frankenstein. What? So he is still kind of Frankenstein. Exactly. So I don't I don't see that as too much of a misnomer. So everybody shut up and stop shouting at us. Yes. But but yes, I know that the monster itself is not Frankenstein, that it's the scientist. I, I read half of the book in high school like everyone else. Oh shit, right on. I totally didn't. And I say half because um, I I was too lazy. I don't think I, I finished a single novel in high school. But uh, I, uh, I, I, I read a few good fun books in uh, high school. But yeah, Frankenstein was uh, required reading in grade 10. Oh fuck yeah, dude. Um, grade 9 was Outsiders, which was good for me because I already read it in grade 8. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, but, uh, grade, no wait, grade 11 was Frankenstein, grade 10 was Catcher in the Rye. Oh yes, of course. What is with the flea man? Do you like, just, why, why is he a part of the boss fight? And he's oh, fucking God. shooting fireballs at you? Mm, yes, yes. 
Motherfucker. He needs to stop. It's it's quite frankly too much. And I just died. Do you know if he's in the Japanese version? Because probably it almost looks like something that they would have added to the American version to make it harder for uh, for uh, people who rent the game. Yeah. Now, my first continue on stage 12 is not something I'm terribly upset by. It It could have been much worse. How many continues do you get this? It, you get you get you get infinite. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. So that's the only thing that balances out this game is the fact that there's no like hard game overs. Wow. But just the simple fact of beating the game, the levels in and of itself. Yeah. Yeah. Just go fuck yourself hard. That's good. I mean, that's reasonable. It's not like, oh, hey, we're gonna pretend like you're at an arcade, actually. Even yeah. Though... Even though that system is archaic and bullshit. Archaic? Oh, uh, woof, woof. <laughs> not bad. Um, you're on point with the shit today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, on, I'm uh, my game today. You are. I had a, I had a social week of teaching so, children of things. Of socializing. With little children and... I don't know if that contributed to that in any way, but... Try not to catch a case there, right? Um... Yeah, they're only about half as bad as these flea men. The, the kids, I mean. <laughs> uh, this particular week, usually they're worse. Usually they're about as annoying as a... a what would you call a group of flea men? Like... Um, a murder of Fleeman. A murder of Fleeman and a brothel of Medusa heads all at once. Oh, boy. I don't know if a brothel is the right term, but... This party's getting crazy! <laughs> uh, by the way, man, if you want to pause and have a slice, you may do that. I will have some pizza. Uh, while Matt is having a pizza, mm. I'm going to talk to you about... Um, mm. Oh, wait. Great. Now I... Now I'm drawing a blank. Just, just, just run with it. What's the first thing on your mind? Uh, those beautiful orange tiles are on my mind. Con I love contrasted it. Contrasted to the blue, um, so those are those are complementary colors. Which, in color theory, um, with orange and blue, those always look good side by side. Uh, so this was a good choice on their behalf. It's true. I will actually finish that pizza later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, you have to finish the whole slice all at once. Because breaking the um, flow of this video with eating would be terrible. Just a, a bite here, a bite there. Just a bite here. That's just true. There a bite, here a bite, everywhere a bite, bite. I've already got two playthroughs under my belt. I'm no amateur. I, I know what it takes to make a good let's play. That's a lie. I'm still a total amateur. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at Castlevania, though, so... Cut to my three may sessions of Falling may in the Maybe people will like amateur Let's Play as much as they like amateur porn. You never know. Oh. Better. I'm walking into the Dr. Frankenstein fight with almost uh, No, see, not the Dr. Frankenstein. The Frankenstein fight with almost perfect health. Yeah. The, the uh, DPS race is going well so far. Uh, not too well, not too well. Oh, wow, how many hits does that... Four. Eat, eat, each a hit from uh, these guys will take out exactly a quarter of a year. So don't fuck it up. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. Okay, once we do that, um, I'll let you focus. So for now, let's con conversate. Ooh, is that is that good or bad? Uh, that's all right. It's it's about as good as the knife, to be honest with you. Doesn't you make too much difference. Yeah, you don't think you can have the advantage against the flea man with an axe? With a axe, I guess. A throwing axe. The axe is all right. But um, at the end of the day, it doesn't make too much too much difference to me. Well, what would be your ideal secondary weapon for this particular boss fight? Holy water, which I just lost tragically. Ah, uh, so. I see. Okay. Anyway, I'll let you focus now. Fortunately, I, I am I am now walking into the Frankenstein fight with perfect health. All Let's right. Stun lock. This just, guy. just, just focus again. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, see? I'm a little flea man. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. No worries, folks. 
Those are definitely the most annoying enemies in the game. They're bad. No one likes them. They are... I, I mean, I'm honestly having a hard time coming up with... Like, as much as I love Castlevania, yeah. the Fleaman and the Medusa heads are, like, two of the most annoying enemies that I could think of in any game, period. Yeah. Like, I don't know. What, what other franchise has enemies that match those in terms of annoyance? Um... Anything small in a first-person shooter. Anything small, small and in a first-person shooter. It's true. Small and quick. Th um, Thanks, Odd Job. Okay, so when you kill the snake things, there is a random factor to what they drop, right? Yes. Um, they, they can drop a weapon sometimes. They can drop all manner of goodies, really. Uh, so do you think you want to, like, grind them until you get a holy water? That actually was not what what I was planning. I'm I'm uh, going back because I think that I missed a pork, can you, um, a pork chop somewhere in uh, this room. Can you kill them by hitting the spine, or do you have to hit the skull? Apparently I have to hit the skull. Yeah, I think you have to hit the skull. I know stuff about Castlevania too, guys. That's true. Uh... So, Eric, and Eric is pulling his way. Uh, so which, are there, okay, I should say this, are there any, um, Castlevania games that you have not played? Oh, a bunch. Okay. But I still love the franchise. But, uh, so on. then, would, what would you say the ratio is, or, uh, anyway, focus on the fight. Yeah. And we'll talk about uh, Matt's Castlevania pedigree after that. Oh, if only. Oh, if only I'd love it. Oh uh, yeah, it's not it's not Mega Man One. You can't just pause the game and and, and let the same projectile damage the enemy over and over by. God, I wish. This Fleeman needs to calm down. Maybe you should get his Fleeman sample. <laughs> not bad, Eric. <laughs> no. <sighs> Everything's all right, folks. This might have to be a uh, two-parter. <laughs> <laughs> You only get one shot. You only get one Did shot. Did not miss your chance to blow. It's opportunity, folks, once in a lifetime. Um, I can't be taking hits from from uh, this guy. No. It's, uh, that's a problem. Hey, you got a well, life. You got a lot. You got a lot. Everything's fine and dandy. Just a fast enough whip is an almost invincible shield. If you're particularly good at engaging in a DPS races with uh, fast enemies and you can just kill him faster than he, than he can kill you, then it'll take you through quite a bit of Castlevania. You okay, so should be fine. How many hits would it take to kill the flea man, this particular one? Oh, oh, you totally can't kill him, dude. You can't? No, not at all. Oh, motherfuck. I can't stand this flea man. He is what's ruining everything. Dr. Frankenfurter's monster would be nothing. Yeah, I guess. Heaven forbid, it should be too easy. Heaven forbid. See, kids, this is what true gaming used to be like. Back when things were a complete fucking headache and you didn't have your fork knife or your PUBGs. But you know what wasn't the headache? What's that? You, you get like an actual game and you don't have to like pay extra money to... To to uh, to uh, play all of it? You know, like... Yeah, I guess that's right. These days, if you died at that boss fight, it would be like, do you want to pay five bucks to just skip the boss fight? You want, you want to pay five bucks to just go straight to Dracula? So... Look, you beat Castlevania. All right, focus, buddy. I'm going to do it, don't worry. Deep breath. I'm very good at video games. You can stun the flea man, can't, right? I can. Okay, so at least there's that. Usually not my go-to strategy, but, but you absolutely can. Although it looks like it might be working. That, that's what I noticed. Look, just, just, just keep hitting him. Yeah. And let the Frankenstein come to you. I can't stand you, Frankenstein. Ah, don't worry. But, yeah. but yes, uh, I will. Try that strategy? Stick with that strategy. Mm -hmm. You may need to uh, do some cuts. Okay, we, so we can only look at the at, at this stage so many times. 
also, why did I do that? Because you're getting... Uh, I'm getting frustrated. Frustrated, and that makes you reckless. Frustrated. Ooh, I don't even care. I'm Is that a voice right. sample that they use for getting hit? Because it almost sounds like an actual voice. Yeah, it does. Ooh. I was thinking the same thing when I um, when I did my practice run on my uh, 3DS. Mm -hmm. but, but, except it sounds like way too clean to be a yeah. sample. You don't want the holy water? Yeah, I'll take the holy water. Fuck it. What if you, like, keep it all the way through the boss fight and then... That's my goal now. Keep this holy water. Oh, jeez, I missed that. That missed you. And I'll tank that hit. I don't even mind. Why am I having so much time with Frankenstein's monster? Yeah, you're right though. I should be stun locking the uh, flame. Not these women. No. This is quite simple. I usually end up uh, missing one or, one or two of them and then I end up like... Taking a bunch of hits. Yeah. That's life, buddy. Ooh. Always quite clutch there. Slick. Good job, Slick. Dagger. Mm. Ugh. I don't need this right now. Well, you, you still can, you can at least take one hit. Yes, I can. I can safely take a hit. So there's no no turkey leg here. I whatever. don't think that there is. I thought that there was for for uh, whatever reason. Mm. I was completely wrong. Oh heck yeah! That's like that's like a nice little bonus. Mm. Now you can throw two holy waters. This might be the recipe to my success. <laughs> um, holy water at the Frankenfurter yeah, and then whip whip, yeah. whip the flea man while Frankenfurter burns. Yep, yeah, one hundred percent. Holy shit! Ah! Get him, get him, get him, oh my god! Holy crap! That just melts him. <laughs> that just melts him. You spent half the level with like... Yeah. With like half a health. Yeah. And then you come here... Just blew him up. Folks, you can't make this stuff up.